seeing this? Y'all. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Hey guys. This is Vintage Kitchen. I'm Danny. I'm from So Yummy. I love weird vintage gadgets and cookbooks from the past. I have a few egg gadgets for you today. We're gonna have an egg extravaganza. Let's get started. This is what looks to be a timer. I could find no details on this when I was doing research. There's no markings on the bottom, like no branding whatsoever. Because it's so frail, I like want to assume it's from like the early 20th century. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a soft boiled situation. This timer doesn't look like it's gonna go for very long. We're gonna figure it out. Let's see. We're back with some lightly boiling water and I'm gonna load up this baby with some eggs. This thing is very delicate. I'm worried that I'm going to smash it into a million pieces. So I'm proceeding with caution. Very, very gently. Ah! Loading it in. All right. Now we wait. I'm getting a steam, steam facial right now. <laughs> a watch pot never boils. Does a time a watched timer not yeah. time? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any egg puns? I really should have prepared some egg puns. Anyone? Yeah, I mean that Anyone? would be excellent. I just feel like you guys are ignoring me. <gasps> as cool as a cucumber. Or should I say as cool as an egg? <laughs> Very carefully remove it. There is almost no way that these are cooked. I have an ice bath here in front of me. Let's do a little test. I'm gonna pop this guy in gently, just so we stop the cooking, get an accurate measure of the kind of egg that we've just made. Kind of love that sound. Ice bath ASMR. <laughs> I'm just gonna set him on the cutting board. Don't roll away. No! <gasps> Whoa. Guys. <gasps> it's like so underdone inside. Should I open it up and like try and show you the inside? Look, it's like literally completely underdone. <laughs> As I suspected, to be fair, it was an experiment. Regardless, I need some hard boiled eggs for the next couple gadgets we're gonna try. So I'm gonna pop the rest of these back in. Oh my God. We're back with some actual hard boiled eggs and they smell absolutely awful. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw up. I don't really like hard boiled eggs. Maybe sometimes they'll have a deviled egg if I'm feeling crazy, but I once got food poisoning from deviled eggs, so I tend to avoid them. So maybe I'm having like war flashbacks right now to when I got food poisoning in seventh grade, but we're going to persist. <laughs> so the next gadget I have is the square egg maker. This thing has seen better days, this box has been through a lot, but I'm so excited because it does exactly what you think it does. I found a really funny video of the guy who invented this. Gosh, I'm near all the fart eggs right yeah, now. Yeah, it smells like a cave. Everyone, <laughs> breathe through your mouth. You are looking, believe it or not, at three hard-boiled eggs. Yes, there is something very different about the one in the middle. A new breed of chicken has been developed that produces square eggs. There are many advantages, of course, to a six-sided egg. It won't roll off a salad or a table and it looks funny enough to spark life into the dullest dinner party. Actually, these square eggs were laid by plain everyday chickens. It is a new invention. Food styling food was food not a profession back then. <laughs> Boy, I'm just so glad that I, I'm always worried about my eggs rolling off my salad. <laughs> I think it's time to try it. Let's see, this guy looks pretty good. Oh, slimy. I love it. Drop it in. Boop. And we'll put our little plunger on top. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Are you seeing this? It's starting to compress. It's actually quite difficult to... Okay. He says it happens almost instantly. I kind of am hesitant to believe that. Give it some time. Get used to its new body. <laughs> See, it's kind of like bouncing back a little bit. I don't... Okay, wait, it kind of worked. I think if I left it in there a little bit longer, it might be like even more square, but I mean, it definitely has the makings of a cube. I don't know, that looks like it could roll off the salad. <laughs> oh no. We'll do next year. Okay, it's kind of transformed. It's definitely smushed. I don't know. Do you think it tastes different? Cheers. Cheers. 
definitely an egg. Uh, it tastes exactly like a hard boiled egg. But like a little more square. For now, we're gonna move on to our next gadget. All right, our last gadget is called the egg wedger. It does exactly what you think it would. It wedges eggs, which we don't really have a use for these days. I don't feel like not as many people care about wedging their eggs, but it was all about the aesthetic of your salad back then. Let's uh, let's unbox her. My favorite part about this gadget is that um, the box doesn't have a bottom, so I can do a cool little reveal like that. Has that mechanical vibe that we don't see in a lot of like plasticky kitchen gadgets now. The anticipation. Okay. Oop. Whoa, <gasps> that was cool. <laughs> Cut through the bottom, it looks like. Whoa, <gasps> it worked really well. Oh my gosh. I think that's gonna add a new delight to your salads. <gasps> you might be onto something. So what should we do next? I mean, we have a ton of hard boiled eggs. We don't like to waste things here at So Yummy, so I think we should make something. And I think it should be a salad to which we might add some delight. So if you follow me, we'll get started on that salad. And I just think it will be delightful. I found this recipe online. I was looking for something with hard boiled eggs. There were a lot of fun ones. There was one with spaghetti involved, a lot of jello molds, but this one really caught my eye because of the freshness of it. You know, I thought it would be a nice springtime salad. <laughs> and my favorite part about this ad is that it says who could say no to a salad like this and to that i say mostly everyone but i'm excited to try it nonetheless recipe for the garden salad ring we're going to dissolve jello in hot water all, it's all caps italicized we'll add some cold water and chill until slightly thickened Meanwhile, while that's getting thickened, we'll marinate cabbage and chives in vinegar and salt for half an hour. Then we will place a fourth a cup of the jello in our ring mold and we'll arrange our egg wedges and slices very artfully. So we have our first layer ready here. We're gonna let this chill and set in the fridge and then we'll come back with the rest. Can't wait. Then once we get that out of the fridge, we'll fold the marinated vegetables and radishes into the remaining jello. So lucky for me, I have a food stylist who helped make this beforehand and her version is a little nicer than mine. It's already been chilled, as you can see, it's stuck in there. So let's go ahead and add our second layer that will include all of our delicious marinated veggies. All right, here we go. Oh, it's going everywhere. This is supposed to be four servings. Could you imagine eating a quarter of that? No. We're gonna chill this and then we'll uh, come back for the reveal. I lied. I actually wanna do one more thing before we reveal our, our uh, delicious jello salad. We have a ton of hard boiled eggs, so I thought it would be fun to make a little garnish for our salad. He's called Eggman. He's not the Eggman, he's not ha an Eggman. It just says Eggman. Let's make it together. Press cloves for eyes and portion of capsicum in mouth shape into egg. Cut off top part of egg so that slice of carrot will rest on flat surface. Ah, his smile fell off. <laughs> <laughs> then place remaining carrot on top of slice. Slide onion ring over pointed carrot hat so that it forms a hat band. Ta-da! We're gonna go put him on top and uh, do the final reveal. Wow, it really came together. Actually, not at all. It came out of the mold, I promise. It came out of the mold, it looked really good, and now it's all falling apart. I think I should, maybe next time I make this, which is never, add more gelatin to it and it'll hold its shape, but you get the idea. It looks similar to the reference. It smells truly horrifying. I like licked my finger earlier and I like saw stars. Even though it's hideous, I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna make my friends taste it. Ew, can y'all hear that? If I die, mom, I love you. Y'all. Holy hell. The like marinated vegetables in there, 
I don't know, in a weird way, like the lemon kind of works with the vinegar flavor. I'm hating the texture, hating. Oh, I got the rash. Thoughts? That's... Feelings? I'm, I'm tasting all the flavors individually and all at once. And I don't hate it, to be completely honest. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but like the lingering flavor afterwards is what's really making my tummy feel unsettled. Then again, I love weird food combinations, so maybe I'm not a good, maybe I'm not a good judge. All right, get out of here, look okay, at someone sorry. else. Good luck. The smell hits you first. Yeah. And then it hits your lips and it's like, there's no going back. A lot of textures. Would you try it again? No. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely could say no to this salad. False <laughs> advertising. But, I agree. Um, it weirdly works, actually. With the lemony, I think. Yeah. With the crunch. That, that. That does it for me. But no, I would never have this again. Would you call it a salad? No way. No yeah. chance. Thanks for coming to the Vintage Kitchen Egg Extravaganza. I hope you liked our salad. I hope you liked the egg gadgets that we tried. See you next time. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs>